Welcome to MindMate's app tutorial. This is lesson 2, games. The game section is divided in four areas. Every area focuses on a different cognitive ability that is usually affected by dementia. Let's take a look at the memory games first. Here we have a choice of two games, like in the other three areas. The first game is Memoru. Goal is to find the matching pairs. The faster you do it, the more points you score. Let's try it. Press on Start Playing. Now you can see four cards. You are given six seconds to remember the pairs. After the cards turn, you tap on the cards and form the pairs you remember. That way, you can go from level to level. The number of cards will increase, and so will the amount of time you have to memorize them. You are allowed to make four mistakes. But the game is over after you made your fifth. In the last and the most difficult level, you have to memorize nine pairs in 32 seconds. If you go back, you can also see a level select button. Here, you can choose the levels you want to play manually, given that they are already unlocked. You can also look at the trophies you want. Let's look at the second memory game. Item memory. Press and start playing and see what you have to do. You look at the items on the shelves and after they disappear you have to pick the ones you remember from the bar at the bottom of the screen. The higher the level, the more items there are on the shelves. If you go back, you can again choose the levels manually on the level select or look at the trophies. So, that are the two memory games so far. We will of course include more games over time. Let's look at the problem solving games next. The two problem solving games are Sudoku and Sea Fish. Tap on Sudoku to try that one first. Let's start playing. In Sudoku, you have to fill all gaps in a grid. Each row and column must contain the numbers 1 to 4. Let's try the first level together. It's easiest to start with the block that already has 3 of the 4 numbers filled in. That makes it easy to recognize the fourth number, like here. You first tap into the empty box and then choose the right number. If you have no other blocks with 3 filled in numbers, you can look at the rows and columns. They also have to contain all the numbers from 1 to 4. Just be careful to put in the appropriate number only once per row, column and block. Well done! Sudoku also contains 10 levels. Difficulty will increase with larger grids and numbers from 1 to 9. Let's look at the second problem solving game. See fish. Open the game. Here you simply look at what way the fish are swimming. Then you tap the correct arrow below. The speed of the fish will increase from level to level and the arrows at the bottom will eventually be mixed after every play move. We should move on to the attention games. The attention games are Hang Hang and Color Pick. When playing Hang Hang, you have to tap on the letters to guess the hidden word. Let's try it. The fewer mistakes you make, the higher the score. And the maximum of mistakes you can make is 5, before the figure on the picture is hanging. It will start with longer words, as they are normally easier to guess. That might not sound logical at first, but it's the truth. The reason seems to be simply that the more the letters vary and the more letters the word has, the less likely a person is to miss them. You are more likely to make mistakes in shorter words, which quickly leads to a game over. Hang Hang also has 10 levels and you can earn trophies. Let's look at Color Pick. The goal of the game 
is to look at the text in the top and tap the color that refers to it. Don't get caught up though. Always match the color to the word and not to the background color behind the word. The better you are, the higher your score. Let's look at the last section, speed. In the speed section, you can play Fruit Frenzy or Wheel Spin. Let's try Fruit Frenzy. Here, you have to slide the basket along to catch as many pieces of fruit as possible. Like that. The longer you play, the faster the fruit falls. Goal is to get the best high score without dropping any fruit. Let's take a look at the last game. Wheel spin. Let's try it together. You can see the spinning wheel with different colors. Goal is to tap the arrow or wheel when the color of the wheel and arrow match. Like this. The game also has 10 levels, which increase in difficulty by adding more colors. You can also track your progress in the games. Go back to the home screen of your MindMid app and then press on My Progress. Here you can see your progress in the four areas and you can also see an overall performance. That was all of lesson two. Train your brain with MindMid and enjoy our fun games.